Okay, Millie, we Look are back. We're gonna share some of our friends. Okay, I've asked you to stop that and you keep doing it. So I shouldn't hear it anymore now, thank you. Hi Millie, do you remember who this is? Ellie Elephant. And remind her, what does Ellie Elephant say? Egg. Egg. Say egg. 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 Exercise. Exercise, yes. That's why we just finished doing a bunch of exercises <coughs> to keep our great bodies that God created strong and healthy and well. So we did our exercises and they wore me out. I am tired. But I'm gonna put my letters down with Ellie right now. And um, Punky, did you wanna hold Ellie Elephant quietly? You take care of her. Okay, now I need my friend I need to see and learn all about William. Come on up, William. And you're gonna stand on this side of me, hon. I, I learned the song for you. Oh, we'll get to it after a while, okay? Maybe when it's your turn to share. It means I love my dog, and I said that. I'd love to hear. Okay, you need to move over. I dress, I was gonna dress her up as Elsa. Oh, that's funny. Well, look at all the pictures of William. Can everybody see William? Yeah. yeah. I will read to you what it says. William is... I couldn't see. I'm not done yet. I'm not done. I'm going to come all the way over here. I will make sure. Teachers know that everybody wants to see. So she makes sure you can see. All right, William, this is awesome. Can you tell us some things about your picture? This is my little robot when we were holding pumpkins. And this is me playing guitar in the basement with I'm a nanny's house. Do you know that Mrs. Vogt plays guitar and Mr. Vogt? Mm -hmm. We love to play guitar. I, I like to play guitar. I'm glad I know that about you, we William. Have, Excuse and, me. And there's uh, a bear Just too. one minute, honey. I want to hear it. But we can't. It's his turn, not yours. So let's listen. He's got his guitar, so, so we love that. What else? And I have this bear that mom put on that has a, a guitar. Because guitar, you play guitar. Does your daddy play guitar or your mom? My mom just does it. So she's <laughs> teaching you how? No, I think um, when I was a baby, I could teach, but but now, now, now I don't know. Oh. Now, now, now I don't have to get teach. As you get older, you can learn how to play and play yeah, this awesome. This is my bass. This was me when I was playing baseball. Cool. So you like baseball and guitar? Yep. And this was me when I was holding little Owen. Uh, when he was a big, little, little baby. You were smaller there, too. Mm -hmm. So your brother's growing and you're growing. So you must be eating really good because healthy food is what helps us grow. And, and who's this? Dad and Mom and me and Blood Old Mom, we were standing at our Aunt Mary's house when we were getting a picture. Awesome. And tell me, um, do you have any sisters? No, just the Blood Old Mom. So you're the oldest. You were born first. You were very special to be born first. Right? Like Reagan was born first. And, and her and No, your sisters were born before you. You're not the oldest, but she's the oldest. Olivia is the oldest. That means she was born first of all the kids, right? Wow, anything else you want to tell us about this great picture of you? And, and that's my little brother when we were on the gator, when we had our own I gator have, right there. You guys have a gator? I have our two. own. I do too. Awesome. Reagan, did you bring your page in? No, I Oh, honey, you're supposed to bring your things in. Go get it so I can add it to the pile. If you have anything in your backpack, you always give it to the teacher before prayer time. I got mine. And that's me when I have, when I was, uh, when I had my shark shirt on, my jeans, and my cowboy hat, and, my, and mom got me cowboy soda. So you look just like a cowboy. Wow, do you want to be a cowboy? I want to be a cowboy. You too, I want to be a cowboy. Yep. Cowboy I'm sounds like a I'm really fun job, head. doesn't it, to take yep. care of was, horses? I was a sheriff. Was that for Halloween? No, it was for my first birthday at Nan. What? You had a cowboy birthday? 
That's awesome. Did, I don't yes. know if everybody heard and, that because they were talking. He had a cowboy birthday. Did everybody dress like cowboys that day? No. I'm gonna drop this Let's clap for William. I have to get up there yeah. uh, oh yeah, he's gotta get up so we can clap for him. Now let's clap for William. <laughs> we love you, William, and we're so glad you're in our class. And we're gonna share this in the book. We're glad God created you. All right, you can sit down. That was great sharing. Let's see, I have Carter. Come on up, Carter. Okay. Let's share. Oh, Carter's got two sides to his picture. It says, what's your favorite food? Uh, uh, it's, it's macaroni and... Macaroni and... Is that mac and cheese? Yep. Mac and cheese, and what's this? Broccoli. Yeah, when I when I was when I was when when we when we went into the crew car, uh, my dad was taking me to school, and and whose cool car is that? Oh, uh, my dad's. Your dad owns that cool red car. Yeah, and my mom, and it has, and it has black and yellow, and the, and the tires. Wow, some people call that like a hot rod car. That's a cool car. Miss Your dad Bob. probably takes good care of that. Does he love that car? Oh, uh, yes. Yeah. Now, so there's your food, all kinds of food. Watermelon, bananas, strawberries. Like, and who's this? Oh, uh, that's my mom. That's your mom. She's very pretty. Yeah, and look at, I'm with her. You're with her? Yeah, and I'm really, and I'm really busy. What are you wearing? Uh, are those earmuffs? Uh, no, they're headphones. Headphones. Yeah, I'm, I'm on the mower. You are a silly... Oh, Mom's mowing, so you're protecting your ears. Yep, and I... Awesome. And what do you got doing here? Who's that? Uh, my brother. But who's this person? Uh, that... Papa. Yeah, Are Papa. you walking with Papa? Yep. Funky has a Papa. A Papa is a grandpa, isn't it? Wow, and on this... Oh, what's it say up here? On uh, that... That's a bow. You like red and blue. Yeah. His favorite colors are red and blue. And what are all these people with masks on? Uh, There's mom and dad and papa, Cooper, your brother and your sister. Uh, that's me and my mom and my and papa uh -huh. and my dad. Dad? Yeah. And he Is goes, that your grandma? No, that's Mimi. I, my Who's dad, Mimi? Uh, she's, she's at home. She's your grandma, isn't she? Yeah, and she's... Yeah, you call her Mimi. Yeah, and she... And my dad's rubbing her his arm. Yeah. Well, let's look at the other side. Tell us about this side. Uh, we're in the real combine, and see on the back. See, we're in the real combine. Yeah. A real combine is yep. what farmers use. What do they get in the combine to do? What uh, do you do in the combine? Uh, the, Are they uh, chopping up the hay? Or the wheat? I think they're chopping up the, the corn. The field. And is there corn in the field or something they're getting in the combine? Uh, yeah, there's 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 a a combine of corn in the field. Okay, so yeah. they're, they're, the machine is taking up all the corn. Do you see him in the tractor? And yeah. here it is, like right here, the combine. And there he is in a real one. So they live on a farm. There. Is it your dad's combine or your grandpa's? Who's combine? My grandpa. Grandpa, and your dad helps them? Mm -hmm. And you help them? Okay, what are you guys doing here with your sister and brother? Uh, You're at the waterfalls. Yeah. You like to hike and explore and swim, it says. And what are you doing here? Mm -hmm. Being silly? Yeah. It says Cooper likes to be silly. <laughs> Look at that crazy picture of Cooper. <laughs> What is in his hair? <laughs> He's funny, isn't he? Uh, are, yeah. Are you guys glad Cooper's silly? Yeah. He's like Elmer the elephant in our story yesterday. Everybody loved him because he made them laugh. And Cooper is good in our class because he's silly and makes us laugh. Should we clap for Cooper? Or yeah. not Cooper, Carter. Carter makes us laugh. His brother's Cooper. But yeah, Carter makes us laugh and makes us um, so happy he's in our class. Yeah, and look at the back. Uh, got one more thing to tell. Yeah, and look at, I'm on my bed and I'm being silly. <laughs> he is in his bed making a crazy face. Yeah. 
He uh, is a and character. look at all these blocks of Oh, red. you like Legos? Oh, uh, red, orange, and blue. Yeah, it says, plays with tractors, blocks, and construction trucks. And look at me, I'm wearing my tie-dye shirt. Wow. We will put this in a book so everybody can look close at it. All right, we have one more for today, Lola. Lola's turn to share. Let's clap again for Carter while he goes and sits down. Carter, we're glad God made, created you and brought, and you're in our class. Oh, thank you, honey. Lola, come right on up. Here's Lola's page. Now, it says Lola Bowerman was born in November, just like Mrs. Bo. And both, my birthday is going to be in And you just call me... And you just call Carter. me Cooper. Carter, I'm sorry. All of a sudden, I'm calling you Cooper. That's your brother. Yeah. He starts with a C, too. Carter, I'm sorry. Honey. And then, here's Lola's. Tell us about your picture. Uh, this is me when I was at the zoo with me feeding a giraffe and me feeding birds. She got to feed the animals at the zoo. Do you like animals? Yeah. I went there before. God wants us to take care of the animals. And I told you that, right? Mm-hmm. And you showed me. Who's this that you're walking? Kimber. Who's Kimber? My dog. Oh, and he lets you walk him with a leash? Yeah. Oh. Her, 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 How many dogs do you have at your house? One Kimber. I, I used to have a Labrador like that, too, except mine was yellow. Where are you here? On vacation. On vacation, hiking and going to the waterfalls, yep. just like Carter did. I was walking up some big hills. Wow. Big hills. Big and who's kids. this down here? My dad, my dad and my mom. Yeah, there she is with her family. Charlie. Now, you don't have any brothers, do you, or sisters? She's the only special child, just like Rhett is the only special child. He has no brothers or sisters. Every family is I different. Have two sisters and a, one boy. Yeah, every family's different yeah. sizes. That's awesome, Lola. Look at this is me when I was taking the picture. Whoa, don't fall off into the waterfalls. <laughs> She's being silly, isn't she? No, don't. that's no and that's you're posing. I'm posing. Oh good. And look at her up there with the birds that she's feeding. She's not even afraid. Mm -mm. You'll be good at taking care of zoo animals, huh? And, and God wants us to take care of all our creation. Are we glad that Lola was created yeah. and is in our class and we love her so much? One more, what, one more thing? Oh, oh, let's see over here. She says there's things to read. Her favorite color is pink. pink. Strawberries and yogurt. Pink. She loves to eat. She loves to eat strawberries and yogurt. Then and she, with yogurt. And she, she likes to play golf and swim and paint. She like mermaids and unicorns. And she likes playing on her play set, going to the cottage, riding the quad. Hey, did you know I got a super fast quad goes really fast? No way. Really? And you're, do you wear a helmet? Good, honey. No, I don't have it. Oh, you should wear a helmet to be safe. Ask mom if you can get a cute unicorn helmet. I got a helmet already. Well, you should wear it then, because it, it keeps it you safe. It doesn't go with you fast. I want you to go be very careful and be safe, because God created you special. Yeah. We wouldn't want anything Look to happen. At these oh, you like to play Barbies? And you like to play with your mom and dad? I oh, have Barbies at my house. All right, let's clap again for Lola. We learned so much about all our friends. All right, thank you, Lola. We will keep sharing. We will keep sharing. Sit down. Um, if you didn't share today, oh, um, the people who shared, did you get Smarties yet for being so smart and no. special? Okay, will you get me the, the container? And I want William, too. William and Carter, not Cooper, that's your brother. Carter and Lola and William will get their Smarties today. You will get your Smarty after you're done sharing. Hey, I was going to read this book, but wait a minute. That's just the jacket of the book, isn't it? Yeah. I took the jacket off. You know how you wear a jacket when you're outside to protect your body because it's cold and you need protection? Books have protection. It's called. This is called a book jacket. And do you see how my book jacket's ripped and getting kind of torn? Yeah. And it's hard to read, so I take my book jacket off. 
Thank you for sharing today. You did a great job, William. Do you guys want to go put it in your backpack? So you, it, Carter, do you want to go put it in your backpack? Uh, yes. Okay, and then you go put it, go put it in your backpack, backpack so it doesn't open. Go put it in our we won't start the story till you come back, but Millie, yeah. we're still here reading. And I want to show you the picture of the person who made up. We're all going to share. We can't just all share today. Some will share tomorrow and the next day and the next day, okay? Everybody's going to get a chance. Is, um, did you share already, Gabe? No. Your page, your page is coming up, okay? All right. Everybody will get a chance. And after you share, you'll get your Smarties, okay? Raise your hand if you haven't shared yet. See, there's other kids who haven't shared yet. So we'll take turns. If we share everybody today, it will take too long and we'll have to sit for too long. We don't want to do that. Um, I want to show you, do you see this man right there? Yeah. He's the man who made up this story about a kingfisher bird. And he, oh, yeah, he, doesn't, yeah, he doesn't draw pictures very good. So he called his friend Jane. This is Jane. And I know Jane. She lives in Michigan. And Jane, he said, Jane, I have a really funny book that I read about a bird called the Kingfisher. She, he said, Jane, will you draw the pictures for me for my book? And Jane said, well, John, his name's John Moy, he wrote the story up. He made it up. He, she said, I don't know how to draw a kingfisher. And John said, well, will you practice? And then when you get good at it, you can be in my book with, you can do the pictures. And Jane said, okay, I'll start going to the water side and drawing pictures of kingfishers. So here's what she did. She drew pictures and she sketched them till she got really good at it. And John said, I love it. And he put, he put her pictures in this book. Sydney, the story of a kingfisher by John Moy. He wrote the words and Jane Stroshan did the pictures. And she said, for Barb, best wishes, Jane Stroshan. She signed the book, the lady who did the pictures. She signed my book. There's the kingfisher. But you know what? Kingfishers don't catch fish like this. Charlie, this is a bad way to catch fish, isn't it? Can you catch fish with your tail feathers? Yeah. No. No. There's some feathers. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Doesn't she draw well? This yeah. is Jane's drawings when she went down to the water site. She found. I think she does it. Yeah, she does draws really no, she good. she doesn't. She draws awesome. Look at the feet. That is a kingfisher and. I don't think we could draw like that. She draws really good because she's practiced a lot. She does really good drawing, well, don't you, you think, Carter? You practice and get better. You practice and get better. Yep, till you know how. I practice my letters. Sydney, the kingfisher, watched from a nearby branch as his father hovered over the water and dove right in head first and caught a fish. Wow, said Sydney. I wish I could catch a fish like my dad, but but, but I'm scared of diving in head first. I'm not a very good kingfisher. I don't wanna catch fish like that. He wanted to catch fish, but he was too scared to dive in head first like his daddy. I'll bet I can catch fish without diving in head first. I know, I'll dive in with my tail feathers first. And Sydney flew through the air and he dropped down right on his tail feathers. Kaplash! Can you catch a fish that way? I no, can't catch no fish because. Too. I can't Carter, catch no, fish. because there's too big of a splash and all the fish swim away. That's not a good way to catch a fish, is it? No, yeah, you do. Sydney flew back to talk to his mother and father. Nothing I try is working. I may never catch a fish. This is so Be patient. Don't give up, said his parents. Keep trying. Well, I don't want to dive head in head first. I'm gonna go talk to some other birds and I'm gonna see how they catch fish. Hey, that's a good idea. Maybe he can catch fish like the other birds. So he went to catch fish. He went to talk to this bird. Does anybody know what it is? With a great big beak scoops up the fish. Lane, what kind of bird is that? 
crane. No, it's not a crane, but good guess. They do kind of look look like a crane with a long neck, but this guy's got a really big mouth. Do you know what it is, Olivia? Um. It starts like Pup Pup Punky and Pup Pup Pee Wee Penguin. It's a Pup. Flamingo. No, not a flamingo. They have long necks and long legs. This is called a pelican. A pelican. Mr. Pelican, how do you catch fish? The pelican looked at Sydney and said, I sit on top of the water, and at just the right moment, I dunk my head under the water and scoop up the fish with my huge beak. Fish swim very fast, so I must not forget to try, try again. Hey, said Sydney, that's a good idea. So Sydney waited till he saw some fish come along. Oh, and he dumped his head under the water, and just like Mr. Pelican, but his beak was too small, and his neck was too short, and he couldn't scoop up any fish. He did not have a big beak and a big neck like Mr. Pelican. He could not catch a fish like a pelican. Oh, so he flew off, and he came to this bird. Does anybody know what? I'm oh, Reagan thinks she knows. Eagle. Eagle. Eagles have white heads, white feathers on their heads, and big, strong talons, big, strong feet. Do you know how eagles catch fish? No. Do you know? How, <laughs> Lane? They catch it with the feet. Yes, they have really good eyes, and they can see the fish, and they jump, they fly down, they soar down, and they stick their feet in the water. And see how he's carrying a fish in his feet? Mr. Eagle, how do you catch fish without diving head first into the water? I want to catch a fish a new way. No need to go head first into the water, Sydney. Just watch me. The eagle glided down toward the river and he reached out with his strong talons. Those are his feet with his claws, remember? And he picked up a huge fish right out of the water. Look at that, he did not. Did he have to dive head first? No. no. Wow, I'll try that, said Sydney. And he went, he saw a fish and he went flying and he tried to catch it and oh, 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 his feet weren't long enough. He did not have big talons. He did not have strong legs. And he dropped the big fish. He could not catch And he had fish. to get shot. Yeah, he didn't have eagle talons. Yes. So Big he flew shots. along. And does anybody know this bird? Penguin. So, not a penguin, but it does kind of look like a penguin. What do you think? I think it's a... It's a night bird. Oh, gosh, I love Owl. how so many people are sitting Owl. up straight and not laying back. Good job. It's not an owl. Anybody know? Do you have a guess? A night bird. It's a night bird called a night heron. Oh, he a night heron? He comes out at night. Crisscross oh. your legs, please, and sit down. Yes. Okay. He has really good eyes that can see at night. Mr. Heron, do you think I can catch a fish at night? How do you do it? And the night heron said, you have to be very quiet fish. Okay, said, said Sydney the kingfisher. He snuck up on the fish in the night. It was very, very dark. But you know what the trouble with that was, Gabe? It's so dark. He couldn't even see the fish. He didn't have good eyes like the night heron. Could he see a fish? No. no. So he could not catch a fish like a night heron. Look how sad he is. He's flying back to his mom and dad and his head's down. He's got a problem, doesn't he? He's a kingfisher, but he doesn't want to get fish head first. He's afraid of diving. Just video. then, I'm he heard... Video. I'm saying like... Oh, Gabe, why don't you scoot up, Gabe? Scoot, Gabe, no, Gabe, come right up here. Thank you. Thank you, and stay right there. Okay. Next, get, next, Sydney came to a little bird, and it was a little bird called a chickadee. And the chickadee said, chickadee, dee, dee, chickadee, dee, dee. Sydney said, well, 
That bird doesn't fish at all. But he's very good at catching his food. Maybe the little chickadee can help me. The chickadee looked at Sydney. The chickadee asked, Who are you, you, you? Who are you, you, you? What? Um, next time when I, or last time when I was fishing with my dad, I got a huge fish. Awesome. Like this. You did it. Did you dive head first to catch your fish? No. What did you use? I lose my fishing pole yeah, and I... People use a fishing pole, don't we? But birds have to use their body. And he's got a problem. So the chickadee says, ask him, what do you do, do, do? What do you do, do, do? And Sydney says, I fish. You fish, fish, fish? How do you do that, that, that? Sydney said, well, I can't fish like a pelican or an eagle or a heron or even though I tried. But you say you are a kingfisher. How do you catch fish? How do you do it, do it, do it? Show me, show me, show me. Sydney pictured in his mind his father. My father dives head first. I'm a kingfisher. I'm going to try it. So he flew in the air and he suddenly started to dive head first like his dad. And he came out with a fish. He did it. He came out with a fish. He tried and tried and tried. Sydney had tried to catch a fish like the other birds, but he discovered he couldn't do it their way. He was not a pelican. He was not an eagle. He was not a night heron. He could not catch a fish that way because yeah, he, God did not create him like that. He was a kingfisher, and being himself, he could only catch a fish like a kingfisher. And guess what? He found out that catching fish made him very happy. That was his greatest joy to be a kingfisher. Do you think he said, thank you, God, for making me a kingfisher? Yeah, because he made, he caught his fish the way God made him. That's the way God wanted him to do it. And he wasn't scared anymore. He tried again, didn't he? And boys and girls, God made you special to do special things just the way you are. Like right? Me. If Knox is not Charlie, so he's not going to do things just like Charlie. Gabe is not Rhett Christensen. So they will not do everything the same. Everyone is different and does things their yeah, own. Different. Yep, and we do things like our own. Like me. Yeah, we all are good at different like things. Charlie. William said, William said he knows how to play guitar. And remember yesterday, Gabe, you shared yesterday. Remember, you were the hockey player. Why were you sad today? You shared yesterday. You already shared and got your, remember? Yesterday we saw Gabe with his ice skates, right? And played hockey. So everybody has talents I'm and great, I'm great at playing hockey. Yeah, everybody's great at different things. Yeah. And that's what God wants us to be. We all have different talents to share. And all right, bye bye um R Millie, when you come back you can tell us bye, your Millie. special talents. Bye, bye Millie. Bye, bye, Millie. Millie. So we'll turn that up. And we've had our ice cream, haven't we?